Finally, 10D, adopt a resolution authorizing a city contribution not to exceed $800,000 for construction of the San Bernardino grade separation archway. It should be noted that this was uh, at our last meeting, um, was brought up and, uh, and voted down two to two at a tie. So we decided to wait for Council Member Ibera to come back. So we had the whole council voting on this. Um, yes, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council, just as a very quick update on this item. Um, we've included in the written uh, staff report that's in your agenda packet a spreadsheet that shows a s summary presentation of the history of the um, design and cost evolution associated with this project. Um, the the uh, specific action item that is in front of you tonight uh, brought forward uh, uh, as a repeat from your July 8th meeting is your consideration to approve the $800,000 city share cost of the current and final cost estimate associated with construction of an arch that has the appearance of uh, consistent with the city's um, design plan uh, that provides a smooth finished exterior uh, cladding in a simplest, simple aluminum uh, uh, panel type of finish uh, without internal illumination or plexiglass cladding, cladding that was previously envisioned and that uh, the City Council expressed some serious reservations in terms of both its uh, maintenance uh, and um, uh, uh, just uh, in integrity of the finished product. Um, at this time, I need to advise you as well that the Joint Powers Board, uh, Caltrain, the um, uh, organization responsible for the construction, operation, and maintenance of the Caltrain station, has identified that they are preparing a funding agreement that would document and um, um, clarify and, and clearly articulate the various agreements that the city has uh, expressed and the JPB has expressed over this relatively long period of the evolution of the design and the cost for the completion of the arch structure. I do not yet have a copy of that agreement, but expect to very soon. I'm told that it does articulate the $1.6 million total cost for the project and identifies 50-50 sh uh, percent sharing of that cost with the Joint Powers Board, along with other details associated with the uh, implementation of the construction. Um, at, at this point, um, again, uh, at uh, your agreement, we're bringing this item back so that it can be considered as an Im important uh, policy initiative of the City Council by all five of you now that you're here. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Good. I think the four of us uh, went through this fairly thoroughly at the last meeting. Mr. Ibera, do you have any questions or comments? I'd, I'd surprise you if I said no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 appreciate, I appreciate the discussion uh, two weeks ago. I, I watched uh, at length the 40, almost 40 minute presentation uh, on, on this issue. Uh, and I and I truly appreciate uh, my colleagues, uh, regardless of you know what their you know how they felt about uh, about the issue. Uh, and I also appreciate the the compliments uh, passed on to uh, the mayor and myself for our 12 years of uh, trying to get this project completed. But I also want to say that uh, 10 years ago or eight years ago, when we had a uh, uh, the community, correct me if I'm wrong. What do we what do we call them now? The uh, the, the advisory the advisory committee. Right. The arch was always there. The arch was presented. The arch was designed within the grade separation. And ironically, at that time, uh, there were various various residents who who were waiting for the other shoe to drop. How much money is San Bruno going to be stuck to pay for this? And every single time, the JPB at the time, Caltrain JPB, said nothing. Nothing. 
I mean, there was going to be obviously some, st you know, obviously a considerable staff time in, in, in coordinating uh, projects and actual opportune projects for, you know, for the city to, uh, to take care of a lot of concerns about infrastructure during the construction. And so I think the great separation not only has been a, uh, a great statement of safety in our community, but it's also been a great opportunity for uh, upgrading our infrastructure and also uh, cat catapulting this, uh, this development that we call a transit quarter plan. So to talk about an arch, I, the, the, what was frustrating is that when this whole discussion started, we were talking about we had train engineers trying to help us design an arch. And I think we went along with the program and we, we entertained some high-priced designers who tried to get us to uh, put up other types of uh, high-end huge structures that were called art or sculpture uh, and we just never wanted, uh, it just never appealed to us and so we went back to the arch. And even then the arch was not an arch that we all envisioned. It was some arch that was fabricated by, uh, by an artist and proved to be almost impossible for the engineers to, to build. Um, their mock-ups were almost a joke, and it almost got many of us to say, forget about it. Uh, but of late, in the last few months, we got uh, presented, once they realized that they needed to get some professional help and some real, true uh, help in, get, uh, in fabricating this arch, uh, we came across a, a, a contractor who knows how to uh, do metal cladding. And I was sold when I, as soon as I sold that, saw that. And it's actually a building in Las Vegas that is just the sharpest thing I've ever seen. And that is going to be the way that they're building this arch. So I guess, you know, not to belabor it, I think $800,000 is a great investment to finish, to cap off this project. Uh, $800,000 only, doesn't only get us an arch, it gets us a great separation, it gets us a new Posey Park with a water feature, uh, it gets our residents some great landscaping, and it hopefully, is, and I know, and I'm not going to say hopefully, but it's, again, it's going to invigorate this whole community because of the development that this train station is going to bring. And so whether that arch is necessary or not, I believe it's going to be a major statement for this community. So I'm prepared to vote yes. Okay. Any other comments or action by the council? All right. I'll introduce resolution. Council Member O'Connell. Aye. Council Member Salazar. No. Council Member Ibera. Yes. Vice Mayor Medina. No. Mayor Ruang. Yes. <laughs>